When we talk about amino acids, you will often hear the terms essential and non-essential used in exactly the same way that protein is an essential nutrient. Um, that, that's because your body cannot synthesize certain amino acids, and those are the essential amino acids. So there are, there are 21 amino acids needed by humans that can form proteins. They're called proteinogenic amino acids, meaning that they can, they can form proteins. Of those, nine are essential. That means that, again, your body cannot synthesize these and you have to get these from your diet. Now, there are various rhymes and mnemonics that you can come up with um, to help you remember the names of these, but the, the one we've put up there is any help in learning these little molecules proves truly valuable. Make up your own ones um, if you want, if you don't really recall this one particularly well, uh, but the essential amino acids are arginine, histidine, isoleucine, leucine, tryptophan, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, and valine. Don't try and say those 10 times quickly because I think your mouth might spontaneously combust. Either way, learn them somehow. They are very useful things to know about. When it comes to protein digestion, uh, you eat steak, as depicted here, um, or any form of other protein. Proteolytic enzymes uh, in your digestive tract will break that down into amino acids and oligopeptides. Now, oligopeptides basically mean much, much shorter chains of proteins. Um, we're talking like three, maybe four amino acids in length as opposed to a protein, which it can be many, many, many amino acids in length. Um, it breaks it down to, into those individual amino acids and then really short chains. Those can then be transported through the intestinal wall um, within the intestinal wall as well, um, they are broken down potentially a little bit further um, into tripeptides and dipeptides, so chains that are only two or three amino acids long. Those are then transported into your bloodstream and then can be taken to wherever they are needed. When it comes to the wherever they are needed bit, um, we need to talk about the amino acid pool. In your bloodstream, there is always a certain pool of amino acids that are basically, they can be used for, for emergency stuffs. Um, if your body ever needs amino acids and it doesn't have any protein available, it will take them out of the amino acid pool. From the amino acid pool, um, amino acids can be used for muscle synthesis uh, or muscle protein breakdown. They can be used in a process called transamination. We're going to cover that in just a sec. Um, they can synthesize other nitrogen containing compounds, so things like your, your skin, your nails, your hair, um, other structural components or they can be excreted if your body doesn't need them.